Hello there YouTube Today I'm coming to you with a video straight from Battlefield 4 Of an invisible guy How invisible you may ask? Oh he is pretty invisible I mean he just not there plain and simple walking about and the funny part is he's actually shooting people tapping flags and just mm, raping people while being invisible more or less he basically won the game for us I don't like the victory we had that's why I didn't partake in the match I was mainly chasing him down just filming I don't know whether he was hacking, using an exploit, or is it just maybe a glitch? I mean, Battlefield 4 is still in beta, <laughs> or so it feels anyway. So it's hard to tell. But anyway, on to other news. For those of you with keen eyes, you would notice that in my last few videos, the graphical quality has increased dramatically. Yep, I have gone from playing on everything low 1080p to everything on high and anti aliasing by times to 1080p. I'm achieving solid frame rates of 60 plus and I can even record without taking much of a hit. How did I manage this you may wonder? Well, though I didn't believe it or want to believe it, it was the fault of Windows 7. Windows 7 made me have stutter issues, made the game basically laggy, can't go anywhere near high, or medium everything was on low and I would still run into some hiccups here and there but since I have graded yes graded more on that later I have graded to Windows 8 and all of the stuttering and lag is gone plain and simple disappeared I think it was a ploy I think Microsoft paid the battlefield for people dice to make it unplayable on Windows 7. Then a week later they would come out and say, oh, it's optimized for Windows 8 so you should upgrade. Wink wink, nudge nudge. <sighs> Boy, the power of money. Or I should say the power of greed. <sighs> but what I have done though, is I had an old laptop hard drive lying about so I said mm, why not try it I was very skeptical about it because I didn't believe all the talk I heard about it having cured the lag and stutter issue so I was skeptical but I jumped in I had some old SATA cables from a motherboard I didn't use lying around, a laptop with a broken screen that I didn't want to repair, so I just took the hard drive, installed it into my computer. Yes, it is ghetto rigged, they're just kinda hanging there, dangling inside the case, but uh, it's it works. Don't knock it. So, installed Windows 8, installed the game while I was asleep one night and tried it out the next day. To my amazement, I could actually play on Ultra. <sighs> Go figure. I can play on Ultra. Ultra gets me usually solid 60 FPS, but when shit starts hitting the fan, it, it begins to lag quite a bit. Um, when I say quite a bit, I don't mean below 30. I mean it drops down to 40 or 35 when shit gets real tough and for me, for my style of play, uh, it's not doable, it's not doable at all, so high it is and it's a huge improvement, a vast improvement from what I have been playing before 
though it is quite a bit harder to see people I still rather play it with the eye candy on than without it I mean that's what Battlefield's about right if not I might as well be playing Call of Duty ha that failure of a game that came out the same game that has come out for the last 10 years over and over and over and over again neat anyway so what I meant when I said graded to Windows 8 was I will never ever dare call going from Windows 7 to Windows 8 an upgrade it is not. It's far more demanding on your PC than Windows 7. It takes longer to load. It takes longer to open files. It takes up more of my RAM than Windows 7 by at least twice. Before I would be bordering on quarter of my RAM being utilized from just a fresh boot. With Windows 8 it's almost half. It's ridiculous not an upgrade just a grade I switched over if it's anything it's a downgrade the only difference is that it's newer and it doesn't even look as good as Windows 7 there's no more glass just a flat black m matte border around my windows anyway before this turns into another rant I'll take my leave until next time guys see you on the battlefield